Hey YouTube, we have an exciting interview uh, for you today. We're talking with Eric Jeanette, who's one of our members of our course, Project 24, uh, and he's seen some really cool success on his website. Um, one thing that I want to note here is Eric has been awesome being willing to come on the channel and share what he's learned with all of you. He's not going to share his domain name um, in the interview because if you're in a very general niche, like what does it matter if my website is about exercise, you know, there are a lot of exercise sites, it's not hardly a secret. Um, but if you're in a very specific niche, uh, doing something really unique, you know, it's not exactly so wise to invite a ton of competition. And so he's not going to re reveal his domain name here, which is totally cool, I understand that. But he is going to share a lot of his numbers with traffic and income and things like that, as well as some of the unique things he's done to get there. So I'm really excited to have you here, Eric. Thank you, I'm excited to be with you, appreciate it. All right. We can't bury the lead anymore. Tell us okay. what your site is is doing today in terms of income in a month. Okay, so uh, last month the income from uh, lead generation was forty nine hundred dollars for the month. Yeah, that's awesome. Excited about that. Forty nine hundred dollars a month. That's fantastic. Um, and what kind of traffic do you have? So that was uh, based on about eight thousand. US based page views and I really only look at US because you know you get a lot of spam views from other countries and really just uh, and that's where the leads are coming from so that's really the only number I care about is US okay now this is like if this were a cartoon there would be an you know like a what <laughs> because 8,000 page views that's extremely good monetization right. to, to get that kind of income from 8,000 page views is not at all normal. Yeah. Uh, so we definitely want to dive into exactly how that is happening and what you've found to be successful there. Yeah, absolutely. So Eric, tell us about the lead gen formula that you've created. Most people, um, especially most people who follow us are doing advertising and affiliate. So tell us about lead gen. Yeah, so um, obviously since this is a financial-based uh, uh, site, you know, uh, uh, the content is bringing in traffic from individuals who are, are looking for that particular service. And so what I'm able to do is create pages or blog posts that are unique within that particular uh, financial space, okay? And then each one of those will be bringing in a different type of consumer, and I can sell that lead to a specific financial institution based upon the information they fill out on the lead gen form. So um, if, I could, if I could just give you an example of a, a made up example would be if I were selling leads to banks for people that wanted to do business with a bank, I'd say maybe one post would be about savings deposits, one post would be about CDs, you know, those kinds of things, I guess, is what I were, where I was going. And then I might have someone that would buy the lead for someone who's looking to, 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 to uh, invest in a CD or who is looking to deposit their money in a bank, right, using that example. So then I'd have to have uh, companies that are willing to buy those leads, and that's the other, the other side of it is developing those relationships to be able to sell them. Okay, cool. So with the so you're trying to get somebody's what information? You're trying to get, you know, name and email. Like they're obviously consenting. There's a form on your on your site where they're typing in their information and it's totally up front with them. This information is going to be sent to this person who's going to contact you about the service. Is that about right? That's correct. They understand that someone's going to be contacting them and uh, they're going to the most personal information they're going to give is their name, phone number, and email address. There's no social security number here. There's no actual physical address, none of that. Uh, but uh, the thing is, is that there's other information I need to ask to be able to understand what the person's scenario is so I know where to sell that lead. So the challenge becomes how do you create a lead generation form that asks just enough to be able to sell the lead, but not too much where the consumer thinks, hey, this person is asking me too much here. I don't feel like filling it out. So there's that balance. And I can tell you that I, in six months time, I tested the form seven times and I could see, and I have a thank you page at the end. So I can see who enters the form and who, who gets to the end. And it, you can do some testing to see whether or not, uh, 
uh, they're feeling comfortable filling it out and making it to the end or whether they're bailing on the form or not. Okay, I want to dive into some of the details of how you've optimized that form in a little bit. But first, let's talk about getting that traffic because thousands or tens of thousands of people are watching this video right now at various stages of that process. Some of them are there, they've got traffic and they're figuring out how to monetize. The majority have either started and are working and are in that ghost town phase where you're writing blog posts and just nobody's there yet. Uh, and then others are lurking, they're interested in starting their site. Um, so, I mean, there are so many things that go into building the traffic on your website. Walk us through what worked for you, what specific things you did, what early trials you had, and how you refined that over time. Sure. Uh, I think the first thing is, is that initially the traffic that I was receiving, uh, I'd say 70% of it was for one page or one post, which is dangerous. And I know you've, to you've spoken about that before, where... You, you want your site to be diversified in the sense that the traffic is coming into multiple spots. And even though it's improved, you know, it's still a little bit uncomfortable. And one of the things that I, that I can say is that, again, using the P24 method, I've targeted other uh, long long-tailed keyword searches to create posts that are uh, specific to other uh, revenue-generating avenues within the space. Uh, that are not that competitive because it is a very, very competitive niche. I think that, you know, the co the companies that I'm beating out, are it's just inc basically I'm beating I'm beating out the companies that I'm selling the leads to for their own product. Just think about that. It's like it's like if I were it's like if I were selling you know Ford Explorers that I would be ahead of Ford in that search for Ford Explorer, and then selling the lead the customer lead to Ford. That's basically what's happening. That's what I like to see. That's awesome. Okay, so you started this site before you joined Project 24, but it wasn't working very well at the time. Tell us how long ago you started the site and at what stage it was when you joined Project 24. Okay, sure. So um, I started the site in 2006 and I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I think in some respect you can look at it. I can still learn a ton more, obviously, but the site... The traffic was extremely low, it was less than a thousand page views a month. And I was just, I had Google ads on there and that's all I was doing with it is, you know, Google ad money. The clicks are where, is where I was earning the money, not the page views. Because the clicks, since it's financial, you get paid a few dollars per click. So um, a year ago, I changed it to WordPress because it was on a, a homemade uh, uh, based site that someone built for me. I changed it to WordPress and then I started seeing your videos, I think in September of last year. And then it was like the, the aha moment started to happen for me as I started to binge watch your videos over the course of I don't know how many days and started to do some of my own little testing based on the little information I could find out from watching your videos. And then I noticed some initial improvement in October and then started to, then I said, this is it, I have to join P24. And then I did, I started diving into the course. So, um, you know, from there, I start all the different, all the changes I started making to the site, not only in the new blog posts, but the existing, the existing pages, because this was a site that wasn't WordPress. I didn't have blog posts. I had pages, a couple of hundred pages that most of them I just did wrong. Yikes. So you had a few hundred pages and we're getting less than a thousand page views a month. That is frustrating. <laughs> it's frustrating. I've been there and that is frustrating when you're doing that. Um, so, so obviously something happened in the October time frame. What, what specifically did you change that, I mean, your traffic from 2006 until, I mean, for years was under a thousand after writing hundreds of blog posts and it was dead in the water. What specifically changed that suddenly you've 8X'd your your traffic in a pretty short amount of time? Well, I started to, again, use the, the formula that, that I was learning from the Project 24, and I started to do two things. One, create, you know, identify new posts to write about using your, your process, and also going back to revise some of, some of the older existing uh, uh, content that was already on the site. 
So you have content that's already been seasoned that Google has already recognized that I, re I look back at it and say, what the heck was I doing here? This is, this doesn't make any sense. No wonder I wasn't getting any, any, any rankings or pages. So does that mean you're changing titles or adding length to those posts? What specifically were you doing? Adding length and it's not just length. So, you know, one of the things that, uh, you teach is to go and, you know, if you're doing a search, you can then see some of the other suggested or related searches. So covering those topics as well within the, within the page or the post, you know, so to get all the, the, the nearby uh, searches that are related to that specific topic. So I started to do that, um, you, you know, j even just how it's laid out, answering the question to try to get snippets. You should see how many snippets I have now, you know, which is, which is another thing that, you know, based on all that, on some of the older content that I went back and, and revised. Now I've got snippets on a lot of that that I never would have before. So. Yeah, isn't that cool? I mean, one thing that Project 24 members do is win snippets. So we talk about that a lot uh, in Project 24. It's a frequent topic on the community about how we can optimize it. And I'm just amazed at how few SEOs right now are talking about snippet optimization and it's like we're making pretty simple tweaks to content and like winning more often than not the snippets. It's so cool, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's great. I think I think one of my uh, on one search, I had the snippet, I had pay, I had the number one, the number one place out. So the snippets, the zero, then I had the number one, and another one of my pages had the number three on the same, you know. And it was a related one. So I had three in the first five, which was great. And that's also insane in the financial industry to be doing that where it's a much yeah. more competitive space. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. So obviously, though, I mean, the, the, you see the traffic is still low in, in comparison to what, others, what other sites are. Um, there's huge runway and upside for this site, which is what I'm still working on. So are, is most of the traffic you're getting now, uh, this 8,000 page views coming from just in October, you were in at less than 1,000, uh, is most of the traffic today from new articles that you've written uh, or from that old content that you have revised? It's a combination. A 50-50? I would say that the increase is a 50-50 combination. Yep, absolutely. So um, I've got, you know, one of the articles, which I wish I could reveal, but I can't, uh, I wrote in, in December. And now, you know, it's, it's funny because it's, it's really a, re it's a, it's a tangent, uh, tangentially, re tangentially related niche to what I'm writing about. And I'm not even sure if that's the correct uh, terminology, but I'm still, I'm still, I'm ranked at the top of page one for that that uh keyword phrase and that's that's like our my number four article now and it's it's not even the main topic for the for the site so so there's there's definitely been some some uh, realization of increased traffic from the new posts and also then like i said create revising the existing ones okay awesome um so we got to get into the monetization now um so you have a form um is this a is this a form that you're, it's not a form that you're getting from like an affiliate program or a lead gen program, right? So you're, you're making your own form uh, to capture the information. So um, what's the technology that you're using, you know, jot form or something like that? I, I wish I could answer that question for you. I have a, um, I have someone who does it for me. So that's, that's, yeah. So I don't know. I could, you know, what, I wish I knew, was prepared with that answer for you so we could provide that here, but um, I don't know. But if I want to make a change, I tell her what I want and the next morning right. it's done. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what kind of changes saw the best increases for you on the conversion? I think, well, I did a couple of things. First, I had the form uh, where you may have seen where you click uh, an answer and then the screen changes and then it, you click the next answer and it changes and it's right. Um, and that I saw people bailing on that. And then what I, and then some, in some instances I asked for a name, name, uh, phone number and email address up front. And then sometimes I asked for it on the back, the back end. Then what I realized was if they could just see everything up front, know what they're getting themselves into, 
uh, right there without being funneled through a chain of questions, without knowing really how far this is going to take them. And to, to minimize it to just the, the, the specific things that I need to be able to sell this lead, then that seemed to be the thing that, that uh, produced the best results. And, and quite honestly, it's, it's not the end because there's always going to be improvement that I can make. Okay, cool. So having all of the form fields on one page, you felt gave, gave you a good result. Yeah, and the other thing was was I, I made this change too. Is is I have uh, on on all of the pages or posts. I also have a you know they can click a link to to fill it out, or you can see, there's a form that's floating on the right hand side. And so as they yeah on the sidebar, so as they reading they're reading down the page, that form is always there and not disappearing. It also right and at the bottom on mobile, you can see at the bottom where they can you know, the little forms down there and they can, it's, it's um, suggesting that they complete this and it's a sticky on the bottom on okay, mobile. So sticky footer for mobile, sticky sidebar for desktop. And, and that definitely helped to improve the, uh, the number of leads that I was getting. Excellent. Uh, man, you're my hero. Like this isn't the slow clap, this is the fast clap. Uh, you have made incredible progress over a short amount of time. Um, so clearly some excellent things are happening here. But what are you looking at to grow? What are you looking at to grow this site? Are you looking at creating others? Is YouTube in the mix? What, what does the future look like? So for, so for this site, you know, it's the traffic still needs to, uh, to increase. And again, I, I really look at entrances more than page views because Really, it's if one person comes in and they view five pages or one page, I still need that one person to fill the form out. And I really don't care how many pages they have to view to do it as long as they do it. So, so to me, I'm really, really more focused on entrances and I need to do a lot more. There's more content I can write. There's more content that I can rank for that I'm creeping up there on page two of, of Google. And we know that I need to be up there on one to get the clicks. So there are a few that, I need to do some more to push those over the edge and to create more content. Now, your next question, I did start another site that's in the same related niche field that's a little bit more niche to what I to that my original site. That site is about three and a half months old and it's already generating a, a couple of leads per week that's for awesome. me. So how much so, sorry to interrupt, how how much is one lead worth about? Um I'm selling them for twenty five dollars, and, and I think I'm. And what I I think it could be more, but you know, right now it's just um, where I feel like it's. Un, I think it's a little bit underpriced for the moment, but I'm not. I don't think I'm in the position right now to to uh, want to start raising prices on it. I, I want to be a little bit more well-established okay. first. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I just, you were talking about selling it now. There's, yeah. And then, and then the other thing is, is that I'm not selling them all yet either. So there are a few that I'm still looking for um, partners to buy certain, certain types of leads. So there's probably about another thousand dollars per month that are going to waste at this moment. So that I, that I'm looking to, to sell. So, um, so YouTube is uh, not something that I've I've created yet to help with with this particular site yet. So I've I've got a couple of YouTube channels which I've had well before uh, joining Project Twenty Four, and one of them is a DIY channel. And I and my first niche site for uh, P Twenty Four was a DIY related site. And um, I've created a couple of videos, <clears throat> excuse me, for um, to push people to that that particular site that's not financial related. And I've noticed some traffic happen there. I definitely have more videos uh, to make. I need to focus more time on making more videos for that. And I also need to consider making some videos for the financial sites as well. Although I think that's going to require me to just start a different channel for that because I think you know, mixing the DIY stuff with uh, the financial probably is going to seem weird to the subscribers. So I'll likely have to be a different, um, different channel. Well, I'm really proud of you. I'm so excited for the success you're seeing. Uh, that's really cool. 
Um, I just want to congratulate you for everything you're doing and invite those of you who are listening, inspired, want to get to where he is, to check out our webinar, the Project 24 webinar, where we kind of lay out exactly what this work looks like to get started, um, you know, what you'll be doing each month, how much work it's going to take, and how to get started. And we're also going to, going to show you about Project 24 in that webinar, so you can click Ricky Teaches Me, it's up here. Um, you can click there to see the full webinar and see exactly how you can get going too. Thanks, Eric.